next one is that one got to check the condition of the belt so this is another one and then the belts are cracked as well these belts need to be replaced as well so the protocol is the same we're losing, losing the seating we're moving forward we bring out the belts so now it's four belts four drive belts bring out the drive belts and then we put new one put new drive belts so that's what i'm going to do i'll bring over Haven't loosened all four screws. Haven't loosened all four bolts. But it's sitting, and we can use the tensioner to move the the motor towards the drive, so that we can towards the drive of the fan. So that's the fan. It's air conditioning unit. Of the factory this is another air conditioning unit this one is newer than the other one the motor is also i think it's the same motor the same capacity and this one is a 18.5 kilowatts motor so here is the tension so if we want to send it that way, we want to send it that way, we want to see if it's tensioning, so it's going the right way, you can see the motor sliding forward, you can see the motor's just sliding forward. Tension is going. tensioned what is still tensioned it looks like we're going the wrong way we'll try the other way now you can see it moving forward you can see it moving forward you concentrate here you can see that the motor is moving towards the right hand side has been really released now we can uh, can uh, unhinge the belts probably the belts can come off but if there's need for it we can remove more tension so you can see belt is just coming off just have to be careful so it doesn't catch your hand otherwise Release the tension some more. Release the tension some more. So you can have more play. Than the other one, we have to examine the belts and replace. If you look at the belt as well, this one has cracks. If cracked, this belt is not, it's going to fail. This one is going to fail as well. And uh, 
so it's cracked as well. And this one is cracked too. It's all gonna fail. Alright. It's gonna fail and uh, okay. So we're gonna stop filming for now. Feel it. It's all right. It's doing well. It doesn't have to be too tight. Anyway, up here is that. Up here is has enough tension. Up here, up here has enough tension. You can feel it. Tighten a little bit. Feel it with your hand. Okay, now we tighten back the seating. Tighten the seating again. And then need two nineteen spanner. I'm just thinking again. So it's quite loose.
now you can use a tensioner to move it to move it either backwards or forward either forward or backwards and the tensioner I might use a 21 a 21 socket didn't work we'll try a 24 let's try a 24 socket maybe a little bit too big 24 is too big try a 22 socket yeah 22 socket is what fits it so we're gonna try and move it forward because it's still tension here I'm trying to remove the tension on this belt so now we're putting more tension I'm trying to remove the tension I'm trying to push it forward can already feel it as we're doing this so we're releasing the tension if you're releasing the tension you can already feel it going forward you can feel the motor going forward and you can feel the belt releasing let's try to fly away but if you grab you and keep you safe okay so it's kind of loose now the belt is loose now so we can safely bring it out and uh, replace them hmm. so this one comes out this way Okay, hold on. Looks like it's not gonna slide out easy as we expect it to. I have to do a thing or two to get it out. Mm. Okay, let's try with this one first. Try to get this one out first. It's dropped, but it hasn't come out yet. Let's move this one. It's dropped as well. And the last one is dropped. No. Need to get it out of here. To get it out of here. Mm. It's a bit of a, a problem. Mm. We may have to. How do we get this one out? If we push it backwards, if we push it backwards, it might go. Yeah. If we drive it backwards again, if we drive it backwards, it should come out. If we drive it backwards, you see. So if we drive this one backwards, we can increase the gap. And that's, that's what should be done because the belt is stuck kind of if we, if we try to drive it back we may increase the gap if we increase the gap here we might come out this gap not enough so you need to drive it forward drive it backwards drive it backwards it's gonna help it's gonna help so the gap is opening let's see if it's enough yeah definitely come out so we have the three bells are out now. 